हेलो दिस इज अदिप इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नी जॉइंट कैप्स्यूल द रेफरेंस बुक फॉर दिस वीडियो इज जॉइंट स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन सिंथिया नॉर्किस लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो टू बिगिन विथ वाई इज नी जॉइंट कैप्स्यूल इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू आंसर दैट क्वेश्चन वी विल हैव टू फर्स्ट लर्न अबाउट क्लोज एंड ओपन पैक पोजिशन ऑफ द नी जॉइंट सो वेन नी इज इन टोटल एक्सटेंशन देर इज द कैप्स्यूल अराउंड द नी जॉइंट which becomes totally taut the joint space in the knee joint will reduce and there will be maximum congruency whereas in open pack position the congruency will be minimal joint space will increase and the capsule will be very loose through joint mobilization we can work on the knee joint capsule to improve the range of motion and through glides and distraction we can reduce the pain going further knee joint capsule has two layers fibrous layer and synovial lining synovial lining encloses the synovial fluid it secretes and absorbs the synovial fluid and it excludes the bursa bursa are fat filled pouches around the knee joint which help in smooth movement of the knee joint going to the fibrous layer fibrous layer has deep and superficial layer superficial layer consists of extensor retinaculum which has medial and lateral parts to it on the medial side it is called as medial patellar retinaculum and on the lateral side it is called as lateral patellar retinaculum it also has mcl on the side which blends in with the superficial layer of the knee joint capsule mcl also has a deeper layer which has a connections with meniscus which we will discuss further other structures around the knee joint are vastus medialis and vastus lateralis on the lateral side there is lcl now going to the deep structures the deep layer of knee joint capsule has many ligaments around the patella which connects the patella to the tibia femur and also meniscus this helps in the stability of the patella patella is connected to femur by mostly two ligaments that is the medial patellofemoral ligament and lateral patellofemoral ligament patella is also connected to tibia by lateral patellotibial ligament and medial patellotibial ligament lateral patellotibial ligament is also connected to it band mcl also has deep layer which connects to mpml that is medial patellomeniscal ligament which connects the meniscus to patella which i had mentioned over here then going to the functions of the knee joint capsule apart from enclosing the synovial fluid and secretion and absorption of synovial fluid knee joint capsule also has two more function it provides passive support to the knee joint from outside and it also helps in stabilization of the knee joint through mechanoreceptors that are ruffini and pacinian corpuscle what these receptors do is they pick up the stretch signal from the capsule and they send the signal to the spinal cord where there is reflex mediated muscle response that is if there is sudden stretch on the capsule the muscle will go for contraction and will prevent the excessive stretch this helps in stabilization of the knee joint i would also like to mention the structures that reinforce the capsule and those are vastus medialis sartorius on the anterior medial side on the lateral side tfl and it band over here on the posterior lateral side there is arcuate ligament and on posterior medial side there is posterior oblique ligament also known as pol so to summarize we learned why knee joint capsule is important for a physiotherapist we also learned about the synovial lining and fibrous layer which are the two layers of the knee joint capsule and we learned about the functions of the knee joint capsule thank you if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel also in the comment section do let me know what other videos you would like me to cover thank you i never made it but i know
Mandami 